ChatGPT just dropped one of the biggest updates since launching. And this new feature is going to completely change how you create designs for print on demand. Instead of spending hours editing or struggling in Canva, you can now generate unique one of a kind designs within seconds. I'm talking about turning rough sketches into ready to sell products right away. So let's not waste any time and jump straight in. Now, if you're new here, I'm George McConnell. I've sold over 800,000 items on Etsy and built a multi-million dollar business from the ground up. And trust me, I know how draining it is to sit for hours trying to create new designs, especially from scratch. So I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps on how to turn this into something like that. So now first, let me sketch something real quick for you. Okay, so now that I have a piece of paper, I'm gonna draw this. Now, I am not an artist, so do not laugh at my design here, but I'm gonna just box this off just to make this easy for ChatGPT to understand what this is. So I'm going to do a T-Rex with a cat riding it, okay? So let's draw this little T-Rex here. We're gonna do a little tail. Um, I guess it's got like a little body, right? And then it's got like legs. <laughs> okay, and then it's got like little arms. All right, and then the little head. I don't even... All right, <laughs> looks like a happy T-Rex, okay? Then from there, I'm gonna draw this little cat on there. So we'll do like a little cat with its little paws. Doop. Then we're gonna have a little cat tail. Cat. Okay, this looks horrible, but whatever. ChatGPT is gonna handle this for us, all right? So then from there, we're gonna have grass. In here, we're gonna have, uh, you know, mountains, okay? Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that ChatGPT knows what we're doing, right? So in this case, you're gonna mark this little things on here, right? And you're gonna write in here, we're going to do, let's, let's write something in here. We're gonna write uh, Thoracic Park, okay? That's what we're gonna have right there. Here, we're gonna do a little line, and this is gonna say mountains. Oop, I spelled mountains wrong, so one second. Mountains, okay. Right here, we're gonna write here and do grass, okay. Here, we're gonna point and write that this right here is a T-Rex, okay. This right here is a cat, okay, so. That shows that cat right here. This is a T-Rex, so it understands where it's going. That's grass, that's mountains. This right here, it says bold letters. All right, we can do blue sky. And we can also put like a little sun here. How about that? Sun. And there we go. This is what we are going to put in the chat GPT and see how it looks. Okay, so now that I've got a quick sketch ready, let's open up chat GPT. You're gonna start by clicking on this little button here and then upload your image directly into the prompt area. Now, once it's uploaded, you'll wanna add a short prompt to guide the style and direction of your design. Also, if you included any words on the drawing like I did, then make sure to add a prompt that says to not include those in your design. Now I've already got mine set, so I'm just gonna paste it in and hit enter. And then within a minute or so, ChatGPT generates the image. Now here's where it gets even better. If there's something that you don't like in the design, you don't have to start over from scratch. You can now actually edit the image directly inside ChatGPT. You just click on the edit option, highlight the area you want, and then type in a new prompt. Now, once you're happy, then just save this image to your computer. So now that we got a design, we're just gonna jump on Printify. Now, once open, head over to the catalog and choose the type of product that you wanna use. Now, I could put this design pretty much on anything, but for this example, I'm just gonna keep it extremely simple and just go with a regular t-shirt. Now, once the editor is open, I'm gonna click upload, drop in the image and place it where I want. Now, real quick tip, if your image shows a low DPI, that's dots per inch, it might print blurry or grainy. So to fix that, I use a tool called AI Arty. It's fast, super, and much cheaper than Photoshop. 
And if you want a deeper comparison between that program, Canva and Photoshop, then check out this video right here. So for now, I'm just gonna open it up and upscale this image. I select more detail, upscale four times, and then batch it. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, it could take a couple seconds or a couple of minutes. It really depends on that speed. Now, once it's done, it gives me a high resolution version of my design. So I'm gonna go back into Printify and now upload this new image. And look at that. See, the DPI is now much better, which means the design is gonna look clean, sharp, and vibrant when printed. This is really important, and it's often a step that's overlooked. Remember, bad print quality equals bad reviews. So make sure your designs are clear, especially if you want those repeat buyers and five-star reviews. So now, once you're happy with the placement, just click preview to see how it looks. And that's it. You can save this product and publish it straight to your Etsy store. It's that simple. And within minutes, you can have new products in your Etsy shop, which is the great thing about AI and ChatGPT. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. You know I love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon.